Hey guys, it's Psycho Horak here, and welcome to an episode of Career Mode. Um, yeah, I'll be bringing this to you today. Uh, sorry, that was my phone just in time uh, for the uh, episode. But um, either way, we have quite an interesting episode coming up. A lot of transfer action and uh, a few interesting games. Um, either way, we get a transfer offer here from Angelo Ogbonna, and I'm just like, hey, you guys can go see yourself in the ass because I am letting this guy go. So I counter off for 40 million because, you know, I can get anybody for 40 million. But, um, they end up obviously not accepting it. Um, we have FA Cup game here against Southampton. Um, I think it is in, um, can't remember actually. I have, I have, I've had a lot of cup games here recently. But, uh, anyway, I decided to sim this game 4 0 at home. Uh, no problemo. And, um, yeah, 4-0 win at home. Very comfortable. And, uh, sorry, this was just, um, like I said, I've had some problems with the gameplay. I haven't been able to get it up for you guys. Um, but now I should start uploading more regularly. I've had some problems or some, I've just been really busy, you know. Uh, but now I want to go back to starting to upload, uh, almost daily. But, you know, I, my maximum, like, amount that I can upload is about five videos a week. You know, I just can't. Just because of the fact that the quality drops, you know, there uh, to you know to put the, the time and effort I put into this, uh, the maximum I have time for is five a week, and if I do more than that, then the quality drops. You know, I might be able to squeeze in one more, sometimes one less, but that's like kind of the average that I put up per week, and all of them are in like their good quality videos, you know. But uh, either way, get way, 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 either way, <laughs> we have a game up against Manchester City in the Capital One Cup semi-finals. Now, if you remember, um, we uh, tied 3-3 with City in the uh, Capital One Cup. The Or is this the one? I'm so sorry, guys. I can't remember. Actually, I'm not going to tell you anything because um, I've been highly confused by all this because I've had a lot of things to edit, and I haven't been sure like which games have gone where and which games oh no 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 yeah yeah never mind so we have a FA Cup ga FA Cup semi-final game against Manchester City here uh, that's all and uh, <laughs> we start off quite well here we get the ball to Van Persie after a great challenge by Royce and he puts us up 1-0 in the sixth minute a uh, great start to the game with uh, RVP there a uh, great goal there um, after Royce doing some good uh, pressure on their defense there Picking up the ball. No, that was actually Muniain that got the ball. Sorry. Muniain got the ball. Royce played it through to Van Persie. And he put in a quite simple finish. Uh, now in the... Around the 30th minute. Again, uh, Scott Sinclair. Who hasn't been appearing almost at all for City this season. Puts in quite a sweaty cross. And there's Edin Zeko to finish it off in the 30th minute. To tie the game 1-1. Uh, which was... Uh, a little disappointing, but again, you can't really do anything about those type of goals. I guess my defending was quite poor, as it is here as well, as Balotelli is put through, pulled the hay out, and uh, to be fair, quite a bad decision by Mario Balotelli there um, to put the ball wide, and uh, that gave us the opportunity to, you know, go look for that um, leading goal, and absolutely fabulous work there by Royce, Marco Royce, just before halftime. First, a little uh, sexy uh, Burba spin there. And um, then he uh, does like a fake shot, but doesn't stop. Just a fake shot to kind of bamboozle the defender. And uh, continues running and um, gets a gets a great goal there just before halftime to put us 2-1 up. Very nice to see. Manages to pick himself a yellow card as well um, <laughs> after that challenge that you just saw. But that made it 2-1 at halftime, which was really nice to see. There you can see City have had the shots and the possession. Ten shots, we had five shots. They had four shots, five shots on target. We had three shots on target. And they had 57% possession, I think. But, um, you know, it was all looking good. We were in the lead. And uh, here my defense just absolutely fucks it up. I don't know uh, what my defenders were doing there. But somehow the ball finds itself to Scott Sinclair, uh, who puts the ball into the back of the net with, to be fair, quite a nice volley, but just horrible defending on all parts there. I think it was by Hummels or something, which is, yeah, you know, not what you want to see from an 89 rated defender. But, um... Again, into the 60th minute, you know, City are such a good team in this game. And uh, look at this. That was uh, goals. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. To be fair, I've been, to be honest, I've been quite, you know, bored of career mode.
recently, you know, it's, it's just ah, some of the goals that I get scored, it's just so frustrating because, um, you know, I have a good team. I'm not sure if it's a formation or something, but, uh, you know, there's something in it that always frustrates me because um, it, ah, I, I can't explain it. It's just the way the computer plays and ah, it's just so, so, so annoying sometimes the goals they score like that one. Just across it into the back post and then Scott Sinclair out of all the players to get ahead on that it's just like no but um the way you know I make some substitutions bring on player uh, Nani Lucas and uh Luke Thompson I, Thompson I think um to try and um change the game and uh you know we get across here in the 80th minute and I'm looking for that win uh and uh somehow the they clear the ball there after some crazy ass shit going on there and um they they actually win the ball but play a horrible ball Lucas takes it, cuts inside, finds Thompson. Thompson plays a beautiful ball through to Marco Royce, who scores his second of the evening to make it 3-3. Now remember, it's FA Cup, so uh, uh, Capital One Cup, sorry. So uh, if it's a draw, replays will be played. But I was still looking for the win here in the 90th minute with Lucas. I played through to Agbana, and, uh, you know, he's not a striker, and Hummels also. So, so they get tackled quite easily there. And um, that actually uh, ends up wrapping up the game. They do some passing movement around here, but I just can't seem to get the ball off them. And, you know, 3-3, three, three, I still have, I think it goes on away goals. And um, I had three away goals, so that was always very good. And, um, you know, 3-3, three, three, I think I should have won the game, but just some bullshit goals there, which kind of killed it for me. But, uh, look, we haven't been really active in the transfer market, and I decided, you know what, let's go ham. Uh, we have nothing to lose. I look for Jordi Alba. Evra is just becoming bad. Willems has not been growing like I've expected him to. Actually, I've been very disappointed by him. He's only like a 74 rated player or something. And Jordi Alba or Jordi Alba is still very young. He's 82 rated. So he still has potential to grow to whatever. And so I offer 4 million and Evra because, you know, Evra is getting old. He's already 30. He's gone down in his overall by loads. And, um, you know, to be fair... He's not getting any better. And that will still give Willems, you know, some kind of chance to improve. But Jordi Alba would be our number one left back. And uh, I thought that was actually quite an interesting transfer. Also, you guys have been telling me to buy Juan Manuel Iturbe, who's actually scored against me a few times. And I, you know what? Danny Welbeck has, uh, ah, he's just not been good enough for me, you know? Like, you guys have been telling me to sell Welbeck. And, like, I've, I've complained a lot about his finishing. And, you know, it'd be interesting to sell him and bring in Manuel Iturbe. And also, um... It would be interesting to see, uh, you know, Luke Thompson and Michael Keane get uh, Michael Will Keane get more of a chance in the team, which we they would get if Willbeck was gone. And I offer him thirty thousand a week, uh, four years, and squad rotation player. Which to be fair, he would be. But you know, Valencia is kind of a boring player. So, uh, you know, in the future, he might be the person that kind of steps up to the plate. Uh, but uh, you know, I found that really good youth player there in the beginning. I can't remember what his name was, but uh, he had great potential of I think seventy-seven to ninety-four, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, so he was looking very excited. I uh, signed him to my youth squad, and uh, you know, I was really uh, chuffed about that. But again, um, they wanted seven point five million plus uh, Evra for Jordi Alba, and uh, we do get Juan Manuel de Turbe here, by the way, which was great. And um, but uh, they wanted seven point five in Evra for uh, uh, Jordi Alba, and that was just too much. So I go six million in Evra. You can have him because you know I still have enough money, and I, I don't even know if I'm going to be doing uh, uh, you know this continuing this out after this season. So we'll have to see. I definitely want to. I might even start doing like two career modes on top of each other, uh, depending on what you guys want. But um, anyway, that is that time's problem. And as you can see, they still want seven point five million, and I'm like, ah, I can't give you that much. But I decided to go seven million. You know, uh, we negotiate, we negotiate, and uh, uh, we'd have to come, we'd have to see what they come back with. But um, we have a game against Chelsea here, and you know what? I was just so frustrated playing Chelsea because every time I play them, I lose. I was at home; they're sixth in the league, we're third. I'm just like, I'm at home. You know what? I'm gonna sit in this game, and uh, I, I was taking a huge risk, but I was just not bothered to go and get demolished by Chelsea. And I see ninety scores the first goal, and look at that, four zero. Look at that, 4-0, uh, absolutely unrealistic, but yet absolutely amazing results against Chelsea, which was really nice to see, and, um, you know, I was just chuffed about that, and, uh, and uh, finally, also more good news, as they uh, accepted for Jordi Alba in 70,000 years, and crucial first-team player, 
um there you go guys um we offered him that contract hopefully he would accept he would be such a good addition into our squad um and uh you know uh here uh and look at that he accepts that uh, i was just so chuffed with that i was like yes mate get in two players in the space of just a few days um, in this January market, you know, we haven't been very active, but I decided to go, hey, you know what, guys, I need to buy some players. And we got Jordi Alba and Juan Manuel de Turbe. And, uh, you know, that was really nice to see. And I got this offer for um, uh, Chicharito. And, you know, he's been injured. After he was injured, you know, I haven't been using him at all. And uh, he's been, again, like Welbeck, I haven't been. Now, remember that Welbeck's gone. So I offered $22.5 million for him, like a uh, counter offer. And uh, Welbeck's gone. And, uh, you know, he's. Blah. I just don't like Chicharito. I don't know. Maybe you guys do. I, I just don't see it. But um, anyway, I don't know if I've told you guys, but Tom Cleverly has been saying that he wants to leave the club. He's on the transfer list, but he says, he comes back to me and says, I'm not that I'm an adamant about leaving the club anymore. You know, that doesn't say I necessarily want to stay, but I'm not, I might be looking into my future. And David De Gea wanted more money. I offered him more money, which was all good and dandy. And after cleverly comes to me with this i offer him 60k a week he wants 70 but you know i'm like hey and look at this they've accepted for hernandez 22.5 million so it's getting kind of hectic here but it's always like that in january so um anyway uh chicharito is leaving uh hopefully cleverly will sign his new contract and hopefully de gea will and next game we have a game up against manchester city the replay in the fa cup subscribe for that please do subscribe also like this video if you enjoyed it leave a comment about whatever you want um you know, about new series, you know, players, anything. Anyway, it's been Psycho Horror here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please leave a like, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, and thank you for watching. Peace.